So what's up guys, this is John coming at you with another video. So last time I gave you an update on my liquid cooled lithium ion battery pack and it basically was already done and I tested the cooling system which worked out fine. Uh, at least the water flowed through the pipes. Um, and since then I finished the the casing, I 3D printed the casing and finished that. And uh, yeah, I wanted to basically upload the software to my uh, circuit board to my battery management system that I created. And at that point, I have encountered numerous issues, and um, some things went up in smoke, literally and figuratively. So I have decided uh, before I really proceed with this project that I want to design a completely new battery management system for this battery and um, yeah this battery management system is going to be based on Arduino and a specialized chip from TI from Texas Instruments they have great chips for power management and I found a chip that really can, can take all the things uh, like balancing and yeah you will see later in the video what I'm talking about uh, I didn't really see anyone in the battery community or electronics community on YouTube uh, doing anything with this chip so maybe maybe we can start something because it's a great chip that I think uh, maybe has been overlooked by by the DIY community on YouTube at least so before we proceed make sure to hit that thumbs up button and um, if you have any good contributions to make to this project you can hit <laughs> of course hit the like button but the comments down below and uh, subscribe if you wanna stay up to date and perhaps learn something so I'm gonna show you the schematics for my new battery management system so we're gonna start right at the beginning at the power supply this is a simple switching power supply it's a buck converter from Texas Instruments and I use their um, workbench power supply tool or how it's called they have a tool that can that you can configure your power supply with and it's really helpful so I did it with that and um, this power supply can output like 50 milliamps. So this is the brain of my battery management system. It's a simple at Mega 328, uh, basically an Arduino uh, running at 3.3 volts, 8 megahertz. Um, the reason it's running at 3.3 volts is because it's more power efficient and it can interface with the battery management controller without any level shifting because this also operates at 3.3 volts and this battery management system doesn't really need a lot of power a lot of processing so that's basically it for the microcontroller so this is the battery management uh, part of it all the balancing circuit is visible here and all the supporting circuitry for this IC now you don't have to get intimidated by all this it's really all described very well uh, at Texas Instruments they have beautiful data sheets and application notes if you have a question you can ask on their forum so they have a lot of resources for you to use so that really makes it quite easy for building your own battery management system the IC is the BQ7699X0 family and uh, this is the for the 76940 which means it can handle up to 15 cells in series this is a of course this is a 13 cell management system 
so yeah here we have our basically our battery switch for turning the battery on and off uh, yeah so you can turn the charging on and off and the discharging but one thing that you have to make sure is when you want to turn on your circuit when for discharging you have to turn on the charge and the discharge MOSFETs otherwise the current will flow through the body diode of the charge MOSFETs and that will heat up tremendously and destroy your circuit so you have to always turn on both MOSFETs if you don't want to destroy your circuit when discharging that also applies to charging but you probably won't pull that much current here we have our current sensing circuit <clears throat> this is basically just five shunts in parallel and um, we have our sense lines and decoupling and also this is everything is in the application notes and data sheets you can really take those as a reference don't take my circuits as a reference because there's a big probability that something's wrong with it because i didn't double check it yet i also have added a pre-charge uh, yeah circuit pre-charging function which is if you don't know what pre-charging is if you have if you attach something to your battery that's that has many capacitors in it like a, an inverter then the capacitors will have to be charged up and if you don't charge them up slowly and just connect them to your battery it will be like a short circuit and that can really damage your transistors your MOSFETs here uh, so what people do or what uh, what the solution is to that problem is before you turn on your main battery switch you have a smaller switch with some resistance in it here I have a resistor network a resistor array here and you slowly you limit the current with those resistors and you slowly charge up the capacitors in the thing that you want to attach and once the current flow and the voltage has equalized so no current is flowing basically then you can turn on your main switches that isn't necessary but it's definitely something if if you want to attach um, an inverter or motor controller or anything that has capacitors in it I would highly recommend you incorporate this pre-charge function uh, into your hardware and of course it has to be controlled by your software so yeah that's basically this page it's it's really not that complicated it looks worse than it is but it uh, this IC really takes care of everything of balancing of turning off and on your battery uh, it takes care of the short circuit overcurrent protection of course the uh, low voltage protection it really is a beautiful chip that has everything integrated and of course this family also has a version for I think 7 cells, 10 cells or no 5 cells, 10 cells and 15 cells this BQ76X0 family so I think you will most likely find a solution for your purpose and yeah it's it there's a library for Arduino for this circuit because it communicates with your mic controller through the I squared C bus so that really would will make it easier if you have uh, already a library available on github which well you do have so I have a second page which is basically a little display with four buttons this will be a separate circuit board from the main one and you can plug it in if you want to configure your board and if you're done configuring then you can either just leave it as a battery display or debugging tool or to manually control your balancing or you can just plug it you know just plug it out save some battery and leave your board alone and to make that more viable just to not use the display I also have incorporated a uh, an RGB LED 
so you can still output some feedback to the user of the state of the battery. So basically this is my battery management system version 2.0 and uh, I will have to double check everything and um, then I can start designing the circuit board. So here I've already generated the yeah, well, the circuit board components and it's there's quite a bit of passive components involved so this this is gonna be quite a big build and uh, it will definitely be hard to assemble when i started out to work uh, with this chip from texas instruments the bq76940 i had quite a bit of problems getting started because all the information available on the internet is really targeted to professionals in this field and not the hobbyist people. Of course the resources from TI are very comprehensive and it's really a great company, they have great resources available. So yeah, my goal is really here to make, make it easier for anyone to get started with this chip and of course to, uh, for this chip to get noticed because uh, there's a library for it, for Arduino. Uh, it's a really simple chip. It's it's a great tool for DIY battery management systems. And for some reason I haven't seen anyone on YouTube do anything with it. So yeah, this is my motivations and goals for this project. It's basically just a learning experience. And uh, yeah, we may... Somebody may help... Uh, contribute something or and I hope to contribute to the community on YouTube so yeah if you like the video of course make sure to hit the like button and uh, comment like and subscribe and have a nice day